So when I think about drugs of abuse like cocaine, which ha leads to huge surges in dopamine, or um, amphetamines, huge surges in dopamine, what do we know about huge surges in dopamine? Well, after those huge surges, you drop below your initial baseline to a state in which the same thing doesn't feel as good anymore. You need so much more energy to get the same output. That's what this is, right? That's what this is. So I'll put this on the screen for anyone. Yeah, so my colleague at Stanford, Dr. Anna Lemke, who runs our dual diagnosis addiction clinic and wrote the wonderful book, Dopamine Nation, described this best. You know, it's sort of like a seesaw, but what, whereby you get a big peak in dopamine, mm -hmm. let's say from a drug of abuse like cocaine. People on cocaine, it's all about ideas and what's next. It's all about what's, they, in fact, they have a million ideas per second. Most of them are terrible ideas, but they're very forward center of mass motivated. And then when the drug wears off, they feel very low and very depressed. The dopamine is actually depleted below baseline. We all have different abilities to work out, but people that work excessively and abuse stimulants in order to do that, achieve these peaks. Is that like, so what would be the, an, an everyday example of that working excessively? Do you mean like, uh, pre-workout or something, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm not anti-pre-workout. Yeah. Listen, I love to be well-rested, hydrated, have a nice pre-workout drink, maybe even a little shot of espresso, listen to some music and have an incredible leg day workout. It's an amazing feeling, right? But if you do that every single time, you start stacking all these catecholamine release-inducing drugs, okay? So you're getting adrenaline, you're getting epinephrine, which is adrenaline, excuse me. You're getting adrenaline, you're getting noradrenaline, also called norepinephrine. You're getting dopamine release. You're highly motivated, you're in that state that everyone is seeking, and you try and do that seven days a week, you're not gonna do it. And then you wonder why in the afternoon you're just completely cooked and you can't do any cognitive work. Well, your dopamine and other things have crashed below baseline. So I think it's important to understand that being, as I'm calling it, forward center of mass, like really kind of motivated and pursuing goals is great. But most of the time, we're probably best off just coming off the gas pedal just a little bit to maintain that ability to continue to be forward center of mass.